Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, Capricorn versus all tall signs reading. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. So first, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for December. And then we'll finish off the read with Capricorn versus all tall signs. Just a quick note in this portion of the read, uh, I don't timestamp them because these messages are so quick and so fast. I mean, they're like only like a couple of seconds long, so it's not really worth timestamping them. If someone wants to timestamp for me, uh, you can feel free to do so. And if someone does, thank you so much in advance. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in buying, uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Okay, so Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn here. Tell me about Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for December 2023? What does Capricorn need to know for December 2023 for Capricorn, for Capricorn here? Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, the uh, the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands, and also one more, the uh, Five of Wands. There is a situation that you're in right now where I feel like you might have fallen in love with somebody here, but this person's pushing you away. This person's resisting you, okay? Whoever this is, I feel like this person's incredibly guarded and I feel like it's really stressing you out. You know, I feel like it's really important for you to trust your intuition and trust what this person is showing you. Don't try to complicate things uh, by trying to convince them to change their minds or, or their feelings or something like that. That's not gonna work. Just accept it for what it is, even though it's painful, even though it's hurt, hurtful. Just accept it. Yeah, be, you know, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to like, you know, especially romance, people tend to overcomplicate things. People tend to like, uh, to, people tend to fail what people are showing them. And this person is showing you that they don't want you, you know. It is painful. It is very hurtful. But you just have to accept it. And just know that. And they always say, put this, in, in, put this into perspective because this is only one person. Uh, there's 8 billion people on the planet. You're bound to find somebody else. So, you know, I feel like someone here is definitely trying to fight someone to change their mind, okay? Trying to fight someone to change their uh, feelings here. But that's not how it works. You know, feelings happen on someone's own time. You just can't force it to happen, you know? Uh, you can't force someone to do something that they're not ready to do. So you have to also put yourself into this person's shoes if someone made you some made you do something that you're uncomfortable it's quite unfair right the king of swords libra courage gemini the nine of swords here and the six of cups you know if you've been arguing with this person about this stuff eventually eventually this person will change their mind yeah uh you just have to disappear from this person's life and you know when that happens you know it kind of creates a sense of like yearning and missing you know a sense of value you know you want this person to value you so you can't be around this person too much and bombarding you uh, bombarding them with these messages hey like please be with me like i want you to be with me i want you to be with me because of this and this and that you know the high priestess and the four of pentacles the knight of wands and the magician here uh, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that de definitely doesn't really have a lot to give or definitely is not very expressive here. I mean, I do feel like this person can be very manipulative, especially when it comes to sex here too uh, and, 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 and feelings here. The lovers and the six of swords, the five of wands and the eight of cups. Yeah, it's time to walk away from a situation where the, someone here is not giving you what you want. We have someone here that's also keep, keeping you as an option here too. 
Okay, so um, Six of Swords and Eight of Cups here. Tell me about Capricorn versus all tall signs from Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Aries versus all tall. Uh, tell me about Capricorn versus all tall signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Tell me about Capricorn versus an Aries here. So we have the uh, Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups here. I feel like this person is definitely trying to come in with some sort of apology here. Seems like they regret doing something to you. Uh, you know, I do feel like this person's in love with you. Maybe at some point this person couldn't give you what you were looking for, but now they're looking to give you what you want now. Uh, Capricorn versus a Taurus here. We have the Seven of Wands here and the King of Cups. This person's incredibly guarded with their feelings here. It could be the person that you're dealing with here. Yeah, this person's incredibly guarded with their feelings, okay? Uh, Capricorn versus a Gemini here with a uh, Page and the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands here. This person's reaching out. Uh, what communication to let you know that they're in love with you. Uh, Capricorn versus a, a Cancer here with the Fool card and the Ten of Pentacles. This person's ready to take a leap of faith here with you. This person's ready for commitment and marriage. Capricorn versus a Leo here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Five of Swords. Whoever this is, this person plays a lot of games to get what they want. And I feel like what they want from you is like money and material things for you to pay for everything when you guys go out. Uh, Capricorn versus a Virgo. We have the Two of Wands here and the four of pentacles um this person has pulled their energy back because i feel like this person's exploring other options here uh capricorn versus a libra with the three of cups here and the two of pentacles um i feel like this person definitely is having a good time getting to know you but this person has other options here too okay Scor uh, capricorn versus a scorpio with the five of wands here and the two of cups between you and this person right now i feel like this person's really angry at you for some reason here yeah this person's really angry and pissed off uh, maybe you hurt them. Maybe there was some harsh words that were said. Maybe there's some sort of misunderstanding, but there's some sort of anger that someone here has towards you, okay? Um, Capricorn versus a Sagittarius with the Six of Swords here and the Three of Wands. Um, you guys could be moving in together or that you guys could be traveling together or that this person's making plans to travel with you or move in with you. Capricorn versus a Capricorn, Six of Cups here and the Six of Wands. This person's missing you a lot. Okay, I also feel like this person's missing uh, how attractive you are that this, or that this person still find you very attractive or that you're becoming more and more attractive toward, uh, for this person because uh, you've been out of their life or something like that. Okay, so uh, Capricorn versus Aquarius with the King of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. This person's ready for commitment and marriage. This person's ready to take, take things to the next level here with you. This person basically wants prosperity here with you. Capricorn versus the Pisces with the Four of Swords here and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Pentacles, and Nine of, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, if there has been no contact with the uh, with you and this person, I do feel like this person will be breaking no contact to come in with an apology. Okay, so uh, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.